Children, young women, and pensioners are often victims of crime. However, sometimes investigators have to find out the reasons for the deaths of men of active age. Let's try to understand what happened to Andrei Polivanov, a native of the Moscow region. Andrei Polivanov, a resident of the Moscow suburbs, was about 30 years old in 2005. The man was married to a woman named Albina. The young family had a preschool daughter, Lida. Andrei received a higher education and ran his own business. All the young man's initiatives were supported by his poor parents. Andre was their only son. It is worth noting that the man was modest. He preferred to wear an extremely short haircut made by a special machine. In clothes, the man usually chose a sporty style. Surrounding people considered the Polivana family quite prosperous and happy. In 2005, law enforcers near Moscow, then called the police, received a telephone report that something terrible had happened in one of the apartments. The woman who called introduced herself as a neighbor of the family who owned the apartment. The operatives had to go to the address given by the interlocutor informant. The policeman rang the doorbell and then tried to open it. Their efforts were in vain. Neighbors said that there were definitely people in the apartment. Law enforcers decided to open the door and soon they were convinced that they had done the right thing. In one of the rooms, they found the corpse of a man. He was lying on his stomach, i.e. face down. The police officers carried out the identification procedure quickly. The victim turned out to be the owner of the room, a businessman named Andrei Polivanov. During the examination of the apartment, the law enforcers heard unusual sounds. They approached the closet, inside which a little girl was sitting. The child was a daughter of the deceased owner of the apartment. Lida Polivanova was shocked by what happened. As a result of stress and psychological trauma, the girl temporarily lost her ability to move. Soon, the landlady, Lida's mother, and Andre's widow came home. Albina Polivanova stated that she had spent that evening in the movie theater with a friend. Representatives of law enforcement agencies of the Moscow region were convinced of the truthfulness of the widow's words as they saw the ticket in the pocket of her coat. The information was also confirmed by two other ladies, an employee of the cinema and a friend of Mrs. Polivanova. The widow's alibi turned out to be flawless. She was shocked by the death of her husband. Also, the wife of the deceased entrepreneur admitted that recently there was a serious conflict between her and Andre. After a family quarrel, Albina wanted to talk, so she decided to meet with a friend. Some time later, Albina's mother-in-law came to the law enforcers. The mother of the deceased businessman said that she witnessed the murder of her son. She noted that she received a call on her cell phone from a relative about 60 minutes ago and answered it. But she did not manage to talk to Andre. The young lady's attention was drawn to the disturbing sounds, her son's screams, blows, and the speech of strangers. Albina Polivanova had no education. She did not even receive a certificate for nine grades of secondary school. The girl did not wish to get any specialization. In her youth, the spectacular brown-haired Albina took advantage of her external attractiveness and married a successful businessman, Andrei Polivanov. The woman was considered a housewife, i.e., she had no job. Mrs. Polivanova had a complicated, rather cool relationship with her husband's mother. The mother-in-law believed that the young wife did not take care of her son in any way, while regularly receiving expensive gifts. She achieved the fulfillment of her demands by blackmail. Andre and Albina had a young daughter, Lida. Father and grandmother were afraid that they would be forbidden to communicate with the girl in case of divorce, so they fulfilled the whims of her mother. The woman loved fashionable clothes, gold and silver jewelry, expensive electronic and household appliances. Albina treated disrespectfully not only to her own spouse, but also to her mother-in-law. 
between the ladies often erupted conflicts, during which Andrew's wife often rude to his mother. Parents, when their son was still a bachelor, dreamed of seeing him married to a worthy girl. Therefore, having met Albina, who was poorly educated and did not aspire to any labor activity, they were wary of Andre's choice. Mrs. Polivanova was characterized by acquaintances and relatives as a capricious lady. She openly abused her husband and cheated on him. The businessman suffered because of the unworthy behavior of his beloved wife, but refused to divorce because of a young daughter. He planned to move to another city and told his wife that he had some savings to provide for the needs of the family. This news pleased Albina, but tragedy ruined it all plans. The policeman decided to talk not only with the adult representatives of the Polivanov family, but also with little Lida. After all, they did not understand the motives of the murder. The child reported that he did not have any information, but the girl's grandmother thought quite differently. Because of Albina's prohibition, the old woman was able to see her granddaughter only once. During the walk, the child told her relative a terrible secret. Andre was killed by friends of his wife. Lita felt fear in front of her mother, so she did not tell the truth about her father's death to law enforcers. But the grandmother recorded the words of her granddaughter on her cell phone. Lita said that her mother came to the apartment accompanied by two men. They started demanding money from the girl's father. Lita climbed into the closet and watched what was happening through a crack. The criminals beat the man until he did not give them the place where the savings were kept. After that, the businessman was killed. An elderly relative was struck by the girl's story. She went to the prosecutor and let him listen to the audio recording made. Then it was discovered that in the house of the murdered Polivanov, there was a cash with $200,000. The money was stolen. The funds from Andre's stash were found in the apartment of a man named Surin. He committed the crime on the order of his mistress, Albina Polivanova. Both perpetrators were apprehended. The unhappy widow stated that she had no love for her husband. She married Andre solely for money. And the appearance of Surin in her life and led Polivanova to the idea of eliminating the spouse, embezzling his funds. The entrepreneur gave himself a death sentence, admitting to the presence of savings to the closest person, his own wife. The perpetrator did not even think about her preschool daughter, Lida, in front of whose eyes her mother's friends took her father's life with particular cruelty. Albina considered murder as a way to freedom and wealth but the court sentenced her to 15 years in prison. The lover of the unhappy widow also went to prison. A wife has always been and remains the closest person to a man, but the choice of a life partner should be approached responsibly. Also, not all acquaintances and relatives can be informed about the presence of large sums of money. Wealth can become a subject of envy of others and attract the attention of intruders. Because of her greed, Albina Polivanova not only ruined her unloved husband, but also broke her life and deprived her young daughter of childhood. Also, the calculating lady involved her lover in the crime. If the lady had sincere feelings for the man, she would not have allowed herself to risk his freedom.